what's going on welcome to asian cosell so uh we want to talk about uh yeah these couple of these girls uh you know uh has uh you know banned their shirt save girls sports but as but as compared to a swastika what the hell all right so let's uh get into this okay i i have the the video here uh, i'm gonna play it so listen in i asked uh our life director about because uh the student on our team uh where there's um bracelets that's say like trans pride and i asked him why can't we wear ours and express our opinion when he is expressing his opinion? Like, why can't we wear our shirts? So then she just brought up the example of the swastika again. She wouldn't really answer my uh, any of my questions. She just kept on bringing um, up that example. When we wore them um, to practice, we actually did get a lot of compliments for um, wearing our shirts from other athletes on the team. And um, when we did wear them, um, our athletic director called us over. And then as um, Julianne said, uh, we had to remove our shirts. And then uh, we had to put on a different shirt because we weren't allowed to wear this shirt at practice. The front says, save uh, girls sports. And then on the back of the shirt, it says, uh, it's common set sense, XX does not equal XY. And so the girls um, wore uh, these shirts to a cross country practice and um, the same athletic director uh, that had displaced uh, Taylor on the girls varsity team um, told the girls that they needed to remove their shirts or hide the messaging on their shirts. And um, when the girls very respectfully asked, why do we need to change our shirts? Um, what's wrong with the messages? Uh, the athletic director told the girls that their shirts, the messages on their shirts created a hostile environment. And uh, the girls, again, very respectfully asked, what, what does that mean? What do you mean that our shirts create a hostile environment? And the athletic director told uh, the girls that um, it would be, the messages on their shirts would be uh, the same thing as wearing a swastika in front of a Jewish student. <laughs> Honestly, it hurt me like really bad because I am not like a hateful person. Like God calls us to love everyone and be kind to everyone. So like just hearing that made me feel like really bad. Like I was being like hateful towards that person when I wasn't. I was just standing up for women's sports wow. and um, helping them get equality in their sports. Yeah, it was definitely hard to hear because like we are by no means trying to be hateful. We are just wearing a shirt that expresses what we believe in, trying to raise awareness to a situation. And it was not targeted to an individual athlete at all, which um, the athletic director kept making it sound like it was. And yeah, we were just wearing them to raise awareness. And it seemed like they were trying to make us label as hateful people when we weren't being. Yeah, so wow. So there you go. Yep. And that's just uh, legits of it. So, yep, two high school cross country runners, and they, yep, this is the thing. California school districts, you know, whatever section there, and I think it's southern southern section or you know northern Cal, whatever, you know, CIF, and you know, save girls sports, and of course the district. So, plaintiff Caitlin and Taylor. Okay, Martin Luther King, yeah, that is in the southern section. Uh, yep, ninth and 11th grade, respectfully wore their t-shirt, save girls sports, and it's and in the back, as a lady said, common sense, XX does not equal XY. Wow. And all because a transgender athlete, you know, who, and of course it said, who didn't consistently attend practice or meet Key varsity eligibility requirement was placed on the varsity team, displacing Taylor from her spot, the complaint alleged. Wow. So this is what's going on. And my reaction is like, I'm really surprised because it was like, why is this happening? And there's a transgender student on the team, and that's why I'm getting displaced when I've worked hard to and gone to all the practices. And this student only attended a few of the practices. Jeez. And, of course, uh, they 
the school district was comparing, you know, the shirts compared to wearing a swastika in front of Jewish students. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with these people in California? And I and the sad thing is, I'm from California, you know, and if, even if I'm not there right now, geez. And, you know, I even worked, you know, the sport of volleyball in these sections, and we're even having that issue, you know. You know, what if, you know, we're facing transgender males, especially with, you know, the thing going on in volleyball, you know. But, wow. So there you go. And then you're going to say, oh, he can go to the bathroom? Jeez, what has this world come to, man? And, you know, okay, if you want to be that, and I'm not saying, okay, you know, that's your lifestyle, that's your life, but when it infringes into girl safeties, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do something and say something. So, so we'll just have to uh, stay tuned and see, you know, these lawsuits, you know, and and here's the thing, we're seeing more and more women and young girls speak up and challenge these policies that allow that are allowing biological boys to join and participate in these these sports, like just told uh, Digital Fox News. And there are lawsuits that are popping up all over the country. We're hoping that even with the incoming administration, Congress, we're going to see the real positive change to Title IX that actually upholds and safeguards the rights of women to participate in this sport, to be safe, and to be able to compete amongst one another. So, yep, and of course, under the Biden-Harris administration, Title IX was amendment to include discrim to include discrimination against gender identity and sexual orientation that Supreme Court against one of Biden's requests in August that would have permitted biological men and women's bathrooms, locker rooms, and dorms in 10 states where there are state level and local level rules in place to prevent it. So on the campaign trail, we hope, you know, President-elect Donald Trump, he would roll back Biden and Harris's policies on gender treatment for minors and protect women in sports for. So the Fox News just reached out to Riverside Unified School District, Martin Luther King for a comment, but there is none, of course. They're going to stay silent. So, yeah, this is what happens, you know, playing in California. And sad to say, I am from California. And I know uh, Riverside is in this, and they play in the southern section of sports. And because, you know, southern section is real big. But, yeah, they're dealing with this. The schools are dealing with this. And, you know, this gender identity it's going crazy and you know we got california with the san jose then you know we had a california high school volleyball team you know in the division six forfeits and now we're not playing against this dude no 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 and there's gonna be a lot more or what needs to happen or what's gonna happen a uh, girl gets killed is that what is it gonna take huh to say, oh, we need, we should think about this. Nah. Say, yeah, girls sports. The women play with the women. The girls play with the girls. And if you're a transgender male, you belong with the boys. But California, I, 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 they're getting all crazy. All right, so that's pretty much it. So if any of you enjoyed any of this content, please give me the HKO special help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. And wherever you are, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.